<laughs> moving back into this, um, the real Aaron, and starts with an L. Bad with names. Lillian. Scar's character, Lillian. Thank you. Scar's character. Oh. Scar is playing Lillian. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was a plot twist all along. But um, you guys <laughs> have to have really fictional. walked out of the uh, warehouse as a whole. Um, it's at this point as you guys walk out the main door there. Um, you do see the driver like shoveling shit out of the back of the car. All the wrappers and cups. He's swearing and throwing it all out. Go to a trash bin. What do you do? This is littering. Like I know we live in the favelas, but you at least could could have taken that somewhere That's else. Not That's not littering. There's no corpses on the ground. <clears throat> um. So, okay. Scar, uh, uh, Fred, we'll be back sometime later tonight. Bye. And... <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm back on the bed. I'm back on the bed to see <laughs> And, uh, as we walk out, um... I'm gonna I'm gonna look at you um, and go. Uh, now, you're 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 pretty big guy. Yep, I am about uh, seven feet tall. It's pretty big for most people. So, I'm gonna need you to probably beat Phil up real bad. And. Why? Um, well, we need DNA. Um, we also need him to not talk. Uh, okay, break his jaw. Got it. But no, not like that, because that's not going to keep him from talking in the ephemeral you said sense. Don't, you said not to let him talk. Okay, I, I misspoke. I'm to we, need to make it so, we need to make it so he doesn't leak information. Um, and I pull out like a... Like a fucking um ski mask like the ones that you can kind of roll up and wear is like a hood or not yeah. a hood a, a hat yeah beanie beanie there we go thank you that was the word i was saying oh uh, okay um so just follow my lead i'm sure you're used to doing this but follow my lead and look scary <laughs> look at me do you think i look scary honestly no i, I think that you're a fucking teddy bear but well, now I'm you know. a little offended, to be honest. <laughs> you're about as terrifying as a sack of potatoes, but I think that's All because right. you don't want to You want to see terrifying? People. Let's see how this goes! I'm gonna punch him. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, draw cards. Alright. Uh, whatever this is. Okay. Five of hearts. Spades. Oh. I don't know what these mean, but hi, here's a card. So, um, with that being the case, he won the engagement on that one. So, okay. How would you like to proceed? It, it's so, hollow, basically. Uh, I'm gonna... when... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So uh, when, when Scar goes to punch me, uh, I'm going to like ride the, the punch out, like roll off of it. Um. So it, it, Scar feels like they hit me. Um, and I'm going to go, ah, terrifying. Are we done measuring dicks now? Yours is bigger. I get it. <laughs> well, I'm taller, so. That has nothing to do with what we just <laughs> talked about. And uh, I'm going to start walking towards Phil's house. Uh, All right, I guess I'm following, but I'm going to follow faster. I'm going to actually outpace him. And the reason why is because he hurt my pride. <laughs> he doesn't even know where he's going. <laughs> I, 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 I direct him. <laughs> I know where I'm going. He doesn't. All right, so after about an hour of, of traversing across the favelas, um, multiple times of going, no, that left. Your other left. I'm a dyslexic, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you mean this Fuck. left? Wait, no, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. No, that's so, another way. You arrive at the uh, 
the section of, of like apartment complexes. I use the term loosely, um, but they're lined up in a row, doors, railing, lights, swimming yards. Um, think like a cheap ass fucking motel, but converted into apartments. And you know which one fills in because you've been here previously. And you see the lights still on. I uh, I put the mask on, and um, I look at uh, Scar, and I what? I I just we got hand something. him a trash bag. Why are you handing me a trash bag? I'm not going to clean up his apartment. Your face is very identifiable. D- you're handing me a trash bag to put over... Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not going to answer that question for my own safety, but we're going to poke some holes in the trash Excuse bag. Excuse you, sir! I'll have you know I'm very smart. I graduated high school. Okay. <laughs> I, fair. I'm sorry, I made you feel unintelligent. Listen, just put the trash bag on. Okay? I can't <laughs> put it over my head. If I do, I'll suffocate. Just because I'm an orc doesn't mean that I don't need to breathe. I poke a hole and just rip it open for the mouth and then for the <laughs> eyes. And I'm like, there, now you've got a breathing hole. This is the stupidest plan I've ever had. <laughs> Puts it over his head. <laughs> So, <laughs> to set the visual on this, y'all are standing just away from these apartments a little distance, um, off in a little alleyway. You've got a baklava pulled down over your head, standing there with your, your deck strapped to your arm, you know what I mean, for hacking. And you've got the seven-foot-tall orc with an extra set of mechanical metal arms, shiny as fuck, um, with a trash bag on their head. <laughs> And it's a white trash bag, a so it cyberpunk street sweeper <laughs> in hand. All right, let's do this. Let's take him out. About twenty percent less enthusiasm, please. <laughs> what? You told me that you needed my help. I'm here to help. Do you don't want me to be enthusiastic about it? I'll go back home. No, I just don't want you to shoot my friend. Remember this guy. I like this guy. You like this guy, yet you're telling me to beat his face in. Do you understand that that's not a healthy relationship? You should go see a therapist. I know. I live in capitalism. (laughs) So do I. Do I cave my friends' faces in? No. I'm pretty sure you do. I do not. Those are not my friends. Those are people who pretend to be my friends. You see, there's an important distinction between what's actually a friend and what's... Okay, well, we're going to go up in the elevator and have this conversation. <laughs> and then the elevator goes up. We're still, you're still talking to me about whatever <laughs> no, it was. You're he's going about. on between the uh, about the b- difference between a good friend and a bad friend, and how you need to go see a therapist about your relationships because <laughs> clearly you have a lot of issues. And it's okay, everyone okay. has issues, but okay. you should go see somebody. <laughs> okay. Game, game you really face. Really should see a therapist. Game face. <laughs> <sighs> um. And I go over to uh, to Phil's door and uh, I knock on it. Who? Yeah. Who is it? The mafia. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him. <laughs> I said it quietly. You said less enthusiasm. What was the name of the family again? Real quick. The M that would have been a very good thing to write down. The, Mar- we'll the M family. The Marcuse. Yeah. Yeah. The, the McCarthy family. Marcuse. Mar- 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 was the name of the like the yeah. super family that we're robbing from. We're representatives of your employers. Here. Actually, give me give me perception rolls, uh, Lillian and Aaron. Okay. Where did my desk? There it is. That is going to be uh, a 16. All right. I got an 11. Okay. So 11. with the 16, you definitely hear from inside the, the room, um, 
shit, 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 shit. And some like shuffling and Knock stuff the door getting. Open. I, I looked. I looked. I looked to. Happen. I I look to you and I say, "Knock the door open." All right, he's gonna knock the door open. All right, um, go ahead and just Kick make a strength in. check. All right, yeah. that is going to be a unnatural twenty. Okay, so you, you say knock the door open, and without looking at you, without turning, you see one of the mechanical arms just go and cave the metal inward. <laughs> Hello, it's open. How's your day? I step in, I pull out my 9 mil, and I'm like, Mr. Tilbert, please take a seat on the couch. As he's sitting there, like, in front of a dresser drawer that's now open. He's got a bag beneath it, half filled with clothes and money. He goes, right? Sorry? Goes over, sits down on the bed. Gorilla, close the door, please. I'm he's sorry. referring to you as a code name, not oh, insulting no. you. Oh, you, yeah, you don't have knows. to explain. You don't have to explain it to Lillian. You have to explain that to Scar. Yeah, you have to explain <laughs> it. I know what you're doing. Scar does not. He just <laughs> hears gorilla and thinks, "The fuck did you just call me?" Your, your name. <laughs> for the fuck this, did you just call me? Your name for this op, gorilla. We did not agree to this name, but all right, I will go close the door. But I'm going to call you Monkey from now on. How does that feel? Goes Absolutely goes fine. <clears throat> Mr. Tilber. <laughs> I'm coming to you with an opportunity. Okay. I uh, I look in the bag he was packing. How much money is there? Rough estimate based on the number of cred chips you do see in there. Two, three million. That's a lot. That's a lot. And I go, well, it seems that you've been uh, stealing from us. I mean, Can I punch his face really is such a strong word. <laughs> what are you doing? He said, he said, Can I punch his face now? <laughs> Hold on, Gorilla. Let's let's give him a second to be honest. Now, if you're if you're honest, I promise you, half of this will go to your daughter. Right. Um. To be completely honest with you, yes, I've been stealing from the bank. Not from the family, mind you. Just some other individuals there. You do realize that compromises the entire security of our operation. Well, no, because technically it's not compromising it if it's turned off. Well, this that is all great, and I take my baklava <laughs> off. Hey, Phil. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm going to get up right now. All right. Hi. Holy shit, this is so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. I put some makeup on today. All right, so uh, <laughs> my bad. I thought I was. I thought you were loyal to uh, your guys. I know they're dicks. I just what money? <laughs> cool. Um, so I'm not gonna touch your money. I just needed to make sure that you were on the the down and down, not the up and up. It works, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, I got a job. Coming okay. up. Okay. I like jobs. You... I'll pay money. Yeah. Uh, you help us with this. I'll uh, I'll help get you and your daughter a ride out of here. Because if I came here and I found this, there is no way in hell that the family isn't at least egging on to what you're going through. Well, I mean, I did pick people they didn't like. Do you still want me to punch his face in? No, why? Wait, what? It, was, it was like it was an option that I was gonna take if things had to go that way. You you get it, the right? Fuck, like, Warren? You need to get a better friend, <laughs> Phil. I'm telling you that now. Like seriously, I'm, I'm seriously considering that at this point. I, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't want to. Okay. You it, did. You got the no. mask and everything. That's why you were like, "Come take a walk with me." You didn't pick one of the other guys. 
I you told you, man. Because you, you're you the really scariest person. Therapy, okay? Gee. I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really upset right now that someone decided to make me pay for my own fucking name. <laughs> oh, that's that like, shit again? You, you know, we should talk about the fact that you keep trying to take care of your issues by hurting other people. That is a really big problem and a, a, a symptom of some serious trauma. That I, you need to I bite the barrel of the gun on the side just like... <laughs> <laughs> Easy. You know, oh, I'm so frustrated, I understand, but you really need to really evaluate your, your internal turmoil right now. So you need help with the job. I'm assuming you have to do the same. Yeah. All I need is the ability to walk through one out of four of the DNA scanners, the one that's passive. Oh, I've turned that shit off weeks ago. <laughs> I can't get back there with that on. And they don't wait, they don't check to make sure that's on? They're all idiots, apparently. <laughs> well, I mean, I did rewire the switch. I, I kind of misled you. I'm not an engineer. I'm, I'm on electrical. Well, I, so I run all the wiring. For the and see, and, and now and now you're wondering why I wanted to punch you in the face. You're well, see, we all it's embellish our jobs a little bit. Yeah, you know, well, janitor becomes it. sanitation specialist. And we all make it sound good, all right? You know, he's got a point. He's got a point. I don't go around saying that I'm a rope. Never mind. <laughs> they both have, like... Say that out loud. So that one's switched off. It is. The other two are well. The other three are are still technically active. Um, Do you have current credentials for this? Not at the moment. There's no new wiring going in that section of the building. Okay. Based on what you're telling me, I'm assuming you need to get to sub-basement three. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to have one at the elevator shaft. You're going to have one when you exit the main security desk. Then you'll have one more at the main hallway, and then one more into the maintenance. The maintenance is the one that's actually passive. But, okay. like I said, I turned it off. So our security okay. knows it's still on and functioning as intended, but it doesn't. Cool. Um, do you have passwords for anyone you don't like? I mean, I don't, I don't really talk to those uppy up, man. Okay, that's fair. Uh, then in the morning when you go in for your job, uh, I give them like a, a bug. Um, something that'll help me uh, network in. Make sure that mm -hmm. finds its way somewhere. I mean, I'm not really good at the software thing, man, but I can plug it into a computer. That's it. That's all I need. Okay. I can I can plug it into a computer. Cool. Um, That's great, because we live in a pretty computer-based world, so there's a lot of options. Sorry about the door. Again, thought this was going to be a whole different... Let me go put it back on thing. for you. And he goes over and he's like trying to the, hook it the back on. Concave door is just like can't because it's like it's like it's like this right now. But she kinda like sets it there and he goes, Oh, well, now you got a window. Um, I give him a uh, a meeting spot uh that has nothing to do with any of our current locations for um tomorrow night at like twelve o'clock near a dock. Uh, I'm like, meet me here. We'll figure out uh, details. Okay. Um, well, the reason why there's so much there is we're leaving. Like tonight? I mean, yeah. I don't want them. To, I don't want to be here like too late tomorrow. Oh, that, that, it's a good idea, honestly. I mean, I got passage. I got a friend now at the docks who's going to get us out. All right. Uh, and. I mean, I, I appreciate the info and the, the helpful. I'll go in. I got to do a, a overnight check on the some subsystems for the electrical grid at the bank. So I'll just hook it in then, and then I'll shoot you a message once I'm out. Appreciate you. And uh, let me know if she needs anything else. All right. 
Oh, well, you told me next time I see you to say hi. So. Appreciate you. Well, I'm going to pretend uh, like I'm leaving the same way that I came in now. Um, so There's a door in your way now. So, There's um, a window in your way. <laughs> you're, you're right. It's a window. <laughs> you might want to That's step good. over a little bit. Definitely not getting my security deposit back. <laughs> it's all right. A security deposit is just a fictional thing. I don't believe in them. It's like the earth <laughs> being round. It's not the thing. <laughs> or you have to I, 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 just, I just go out the balcony and I just grappling hook off the edge. Just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Hop over the door, but accidentally create a hole in the wall as he does so because he's seven feet tall. <laughs> so he's like, "Oh, oops, sorry, I made guess... a Wait a minute, I don't care. I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Why is this stressing me out? <laughs> Have a good day, Phil. Also, try not to get your you face too. in the YouTube network, okay? Okay. Oh, I won't. You have a good one. To go yep, gorilla. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you leave Phil looking very confused, but slightly like, the oh, fuck just happened here? <laughs> He's relieved, but as far as what happened, the no fuck just happened here? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I walk back to the uh, to the office. All right. I also walk back to the office, but I get lost most of the way and so it takes me about twice as long to get back to right. the office i keep texting directions but i keep forgetting they're dyslexic <laughs> <laughs> oh it says left oh, uh um there's a fork in the road my Wait, left no. or his left just which your left i would say left you get back and about 40 minutes later you finally just send gps pen markers <laughs> down <laughs> the path Oh, okay, phone. now I know where I'm going, kind of. Wait, no. Uh, about 20 minutes, 30 minutes oh, later, wait. Gar shows back up. Meanwhile, um, Rima, hold on. what are you uh, up to at the warehouse? Uh, so what, I would have found a, a corner to change in because there's obviously this is a big warehouse room, so I would like, you know, try to be shy about it. But uh, I would change into the suit and then I would um, kind of do some practice like uh, parkour stuff. That way, I mm -hmm. make sure that I can move okay in the suit. Let's see how well you do. Throw me an acrobatics roll. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a two. All right. So you go for the first flip, and you forgot to pop the velcro, so the no. stabilizers didn't launch you like it normally would. So you ended up landing on your back. But oh. after after getting some of the adjustments in and popping them. You know, with your thumbs quickly, you're able to get the stabilizers out and actually do what you need to do as per normal. I can't even I can't even move in this thing. So from Freddy's perspective, dude walks over to the corner, changes into the suit, runs at the wall, jumps off of it, lands on his back, rolls up, and does it again. Popping the things open so the stabilizers can fire as he backflips off the wall. And then he lands on his back. And then he lands on his feet the second time. What are you doing? I'm eating a burger from that pile. Well, I gotta, of... I gotta, I gotta, uh, like, moving's my thing. I gotta, I gotta know that I can move in what I'm wearing. We're walking into a bank and walking out of it. What makes you think you're gonna need to move this much? You think that if it was that easy, they would have strapped a bomb to my wrist. I think they know you can do this circus act, and it's much easier to blow you up than to chase down a prancing monkey through a favela neighborhood. So, not my thought. I'm like, but. I'm generally gonna be like, oh, I never really thought of that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but you have other uses. Blake lined out that you're what you're here for, but your jumpity bappity is much more of a of a liability than of than an asset to this operation at this point. I'm just gonna go sit on sit on a cot and shamefully eat one of the uh, cat mm, like, sticks. Fry. 
never touch this stuff. <laughs> who, who doesn't like potato? Gosh. A psychopath. Apparently. <laughs> That's why he has the bomb. <laughs> I don't drink water. Fish. Fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no one's screwing in a potato. That would be terrible. I have been spending this time. Well, well right. before I noticed, before I noticed uh, Jax doing all of his cartwheel stuff to like check out his mobility. Um, I've just been going over in my head. Like, do I know anyone at this bank? Do I know any of the, the uh, tellers, oh. the manager, anything like that? Just to, uh, you know, it's like, Line as you're, you're ruminating on on your contact list, mm -hmm. and I was thumbing through it as you're eating your burger. I'm in my mind um, palace. <laughs> four names kind of strike you uh, as potential. Mm -hmm. um, one, you have no getaway at the moment. So you know a driver who's actually pretty decent, owns mm -hmm. a taxi, mm -hmm. uh, outright with a, a up-to-date medallion and everything else like that, so he's on legit level, but it's also not above making extra buck. Well, super clean driver means super clean yeah. getaway. Don't, um, don't need a warrant for you know tailgating to throw this whole thing into a fucking farce. True. Uh, secondary to that, you do know a scrubber who specializes in maskings for security surveillance, mm -hmm. as well as basically being able to crack systems and scrub data out of them. So the, those individuals are basically photoshopped out of whatever scene they were in. in those so no, con no concern with the live footing? It'll be cleaned up in post? But he would be expensive. Mm. That's the downside. He doesn't get out of bed for less than 10 grand. Easy, but half now, half later. I have the money to spare. So... The third person is actually someone you've relied on previously as a contingency as you were working with people you didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, their specialty is problem removal of the violent nature. Well. <laughs> so we could have two orcs on this job, actually. This and then, formed one is doesn't exactly follow orders too well. The last one is actually a legitimate business that you do have contacts with and have used previously to deliver confidential information. Mm -hmm. um, they're security runners, is what they're referred to as. Mm -hmm. They are the uppity-ups, body-armored-up, uh, augmented-to-hell, can clear one side high, of the favela to the other. High-profile security. War. High, yeah. high, high profile security usually reserved for CEOs, but they take work wherever work is. Yeah. Consistently would be equivalent to like a PMC. Mm -hmm. And these are just options that I'm weighing between high high level security, a scrubber, another batch of muscle, and what was the first one? The ride. The ride. Oh, the ride's clean and clear. Actually. Nah, ride's clean and clear. Scrubber, easy necessity. The guy, is, the taxi driver is just perfectly fine for a fare and cash later. And then the high high security. If we need a major distraction, I guess they're they usually like cleaning things that we're keeping providing order. But you know, might need a fire here or two, here or there just to actually throw off any focus by the regular authorities. So anyone and no no known contacts or uh, any uh, historical dates with any of the tellers or anyone that works at this bank is the bank. Manned or is it an unmanned kind of bank? More, it's got a lot of automation to it. There mm -hmm. are a few individuals that work within it. Um, however, n being familiar with that scene a little bit, you would know that their personal life is not personal. Like every aspect of their life is scrubbed, monitored, and checked. Right. Um, and particularly when operating operating with a family, mm -hmm. there are no secrets mm -hmm. at all. Um, so that being the case, you kind of tended to avoid that to stay off the family's radar. Yeah. Yep. Don't date where you want to work. Uh... <laughs> All right. Don't dump your, dunk your pen in company ink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All righty. So you have it clean and clear. Should be able to actually get, get the scrubbing out. Got the getaway driver. Got the backup singular because it's, it's double muscle. 
Maybe either an army that can actually cause a little bit of gang warfare, some faux gang warfare, if I get them the right text. And then a nice good batch of muscle. He's He might be overkill, but we'll see how Scar is. I know he's good at writing and manning doors, managing drunks, but this could get way worse so, with the Marcuzis. In this moment, um, Jax, you hear all that. Because I'm talking out loud to myself with, like, with yeah. theatrics and everything. It's like drawing things in the air. I, it's like, I, do, I, do I sense that Jax is watching me? Like an insane person. I mean, Jax, are you like ogling him from the corner? Are you still practicing? No, I'm just, I'm sitting on a, on a cot eating uh, caffeine. You're caffeine sick? Mm. Okay. I'm just like... Yeah, that's, I like, he kind of psychotically rambles to himself. I keep I, trying to like interject in the, uh, yeah. but the, uh, and then that, well, that's a good. I I'm pause. Just gonna, I pause. Just like in his own world, you know. I pause for a moment. This is normal, by the way. And this. No. For me, like, how do you think I actually manage to keep alive in this hellhole of a city? Goodness. I think he went to the asylum. Oh, I got out of the asylum. <laughs> Mostly Legally because... Legally or did we break out? No, I, they had horrible bread. I needed a shutdown, <laughs> so I got them I got them basically uh, cornered on health policy. Sub subpar potatoes. <laughs> the yeah. worst crime imaginable. Yeah. The potatoes yeah. that you won't even touch? It's playing I'm identity. driving later. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. All right, and so, you have potential contacts that you can call and mm -hmm. try to get some information from or get aid from. Um, yep. yep. That, that's kind of the information you have at the moment. I'll give you a minute with that to kind of figure out what you would like to do there. In yep. the meantime, um, I would say after a couple hours of going through the contact list, practicing your parkour and stuff like that, um, first... Warren shows back up, and after a few moments, you see him, you know, about 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes or so, you see him start typing onto the, the deck that's on his arm, and just all of a sudden, Scar comes in, finally, <laughs> kind of moment. I made it! Hi, guys! Good job, buddy. Yeah, I, I, I was scared. I got lost for a little bit, but I found my way. No one How, asked. How'd it go? I, I look at him like, wow, what the fuck? Sorry, sorry, I, I'm working. I, I'm... He, he's been doing this for the better half of an hour. The best laid plans mean the least problems, Jax. You should know that with all of the running and jumping you've done. That's, that's literally not the saying. I, I just... I just make it up as I go. That's... Uh, then you... I look at Jax like, and you're alive? I'm very good. Are you though? No, I mean, he is. Comparatively, I'm alive. I'm texting in now. the corner uh, for the taxi. How of you for being alive? <laughs> Me too. Yeah, see, I'd this is a healthy I'd like, positive I'd like to thing. stay that way. Take notes on him. I'm just gonna like what? Like <laughs> they're obviously referencing that previous conversation, so I'm just gonna be like, "What did you guys do? Yeah, where were okay. you guys actually?" Nothing and nowhere. Shut up. We went to go see Phil, and I didn't get to punch anything. Oh my god. You you just can't keep a secret, can you? Like uh, I look at Warren. Who's Phil? Oh uh, friend of mine. Phil is a friend that shouldn't end. be his friend. Oh my god, <laughs> shut. <laughs> It seems um, like he's got gonna some deep-seated issues. I'm he needs seven to work feet tall. You want to try to hit me? It's not gonna work. Fair I point. don't need to hit you. I just need to fuck with the arms on your back. <laughs> you're not, you're I can make them tear you apart. Then I'll just take them off. <laughs> with what arms? Back. After I tear them off with your arms? These arms. No, you're, you're not gonna have. Is only in the oh my mechanics. god, you're so dumb! I, I can't threaten you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he makes you look sane. I'm not pointing at. Uh, uh, I go to I, I I go to Jack's fifty bucks. Says the orc rips himself apart. I think the orc's got it. 
All right, that's 50. <laughs> all of you apart before you rip but before wait <laughs> <laughs> hold on guys i have a hard time with this you're going to die all right that's that's what i'm trying to say okay it's a threat it's okay, what I okay. all right all right all right all right so, so so what's the plan uh, obviously we can get in fine w what else We'll oh, to... oh, mister, I don't go for plans. Well, you guys want a plan. Uh, you, you seem to do better on plans. I'm just going to, you know, if, if things get too nervous? dicey, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm just going to, I'm just going to run. Okay, calm, take a breath. All right, we're going to do some breathing exercises, breathing a little bit. Hold I see like, five <laughs> seconds, and you'll like be okay. There's like four empty caffeine stick wrappers on the ground. I whisper you, into his ear, you can't outrun yourself. <laughs> You're not helping, you know? I'm trying to help our friend here. He's got some issues, you know? You, yeah, no, I just I told him a legitimate piece of advice that I read in the therapy book that I downloaded like five minutes ago because you said I needed so much fucking therapy. <laughs> Look, see? Chapter one, page three. You can't outrun yourself. You're okay, the yes, problem. You gotta be, you gotta be like calm about it the way you said it sounded like it's a threat like you can't i was really it. calm are you well i mean you were calm but what are you nice about you need to be nice you know this is our friend and i'm gonna pat him on the head this is our friend <laughs> we don't so we don't hurt our friends the otherwise i hurt you already you I've guys already figure out the plan i'm just gonna go flip out in the corner and then i'm gonna go do flips in the corner go go do a few go oh, do a few okay. laps so w w Warren, let's let's talk. Scar, what enjoy the rest of McDonald's. En enjoy the rest of the burgers. What would you? McDonald's. So what I was able to figure out, um, mm -hmm. Bill has been stealing from the family for months. How much? Or at least the bank. How much? I'm not going to tell you that for free. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's breaking my concentration, Sean. The corner, just <laughs> clapping, hopping. <laughs> For the monkey. <laughs> do, 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 do. It doesn't doesn't um, matter. Just Ninja Turtles reference. Yeah. Just general, just so, general curiosity, Warren. So he's he's been stealing from the fam. So does he does he have a way for us to actually get this job done quite easily? No, but he has a way to help me with my job. And he will. Okay. Because I've got us a ride and I've got security probably under wraps. Do we need any muscle in an army or in another individual format? Like, Scar seems pretty pretty tough, just a little ornery. And dense. I'm not, wait, I'm not ornery. You can't hear this right now, Scar. Back to your burgers. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm hearing things again. Don't worry about that. Again? Anyway. Like I said, <laughs> um, best thing that we can do is get me a distraction. Okay, what kind of distraction are you looking for? Because we have maintenance outfits for, well, because we had two suits and then two maintenance outfits. The maintenance outfits are between you, Warren, and I, and then the suits were for uh, Scar and for Jax. Yeah, uh, I'm talking about in case something goes wrong. So... If something does go wrong, I'm going to need probably about 15 minutes to work through all of their backup security and then get us where we need to be. Once I get that chip out of there, though, we need to get it into Jack's head as quick as we can. Because mm -hmm. usually those chips are bio locked and they need to be kept at a very specific set of temperature. Anything outside of the range of 98.1 by more than 0.5 degrees up or down, that chip starts failing. We have access to the vault from the corner. What do you mean by we have access to the vault? I'm going to hold up the slip of paper with the safety box number. Yeah, they gave me the safety box information and the passcode. 
Oh, that's what nice. What the fuck? We're walking in the front door. Wait, so you're gonna be in the vault with? Okay. But well, that sounds like Jack should be able to just get the chip out of the security box and run from and go from there. Like, are we gonna run interference? Oh. Like throwing trash outside? P pause real quick, Chris. Am I missing something? No, you're you're entirely correct. He can get into the vault itself. He can't get access to the other boxes. Oh, He'll be okay. given unique access to one box per the order. It's figuring out how to get into the other box is is sort of like Got the it. issue. So yeah, he can get into the the vault. We need to give him access to the other box. So basically, this all has to happen within a minute of each other. Mm -hmm. Um. And if any alarms go off, basically he's fucked. Um, you're doing great, buddy. Um, <laughs> and he's gonna what? He's gonna, <laughs> nothing. Don't worry about it. You're flipping out. Okay. Uh, if 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 the alarms go off, he's gonna be trapped in that room until he starves or explodes to death, or they shoot him. Which is also kind of like that'll that heart rate drop all of a sudden will probably explode that bank, which is not great for us because then we don't get what we want. Um, but the plus side is we probably won't be around him at that time. So what do are you we guys consider how big the bomb was though? He said about five feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, thought, are, I was imagining it much bigger than that. I was thinking okay. I was going to think, take out a walk. Think group hug distance. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So here, well, here's what I've got figured out with my con with my my contacts. I've got ourselves a, dr a driver, very clean taxi driver, ready to pick us up. We just need to give mm -hmm. him a location. I've got security cameras pretty much covered from another guy. He should be able to at least get that just wiped, if not edited, so they cannot pull out any identification on us. The eyewitnesses would have to be like very sharp on at least who's in the bank what i'm not clear about right now is what are you and i doing because we have the outfits for like maintenance or doing like trash work or janitor work but i'm assuming that you're supporting me while i do the actual work we gotta go around we just gotta be on the roof of the bank no we're going into the basement okay that just just point of clarity um but again, if something goes wrong, we're probably going to need Scar to cause issues loudly. Would we like a second Scar? I mean, no. That talks less. <laughs> Maybe. I have a guy that the, that does one that that can go solo with them as well. Give them a give them some extra help or give us some extra. Keep, I keep them on call. Them. Okay, alrighty. Then all right, then clean and clear. I'll keep eyes while you do your work, and we can roll from there. All right, I'm gonna get some shit. I and uh, I go onto my cot and I just ignore anyone's attempt to try and talk to me at that point because I need to sleep. I go around looking for caffeine steaks because I, and I'm just like, where the fuck? Huh? He ate all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to our caffeinated friend. All right, okay. <clears throat> I'll stop. But, buddy, are out. you okay? Are you okay? What's going on? Uh, you know, the, this just isn't my my normal standard job. Uh, it's usually not so high profile. You know, it's moving information from one point to another. It's, uh, you know, you know, run, running numbers from from one spot to another, like literally running numbers, uh, disappearing uh, into the in, you know into the infrastructure. That I'm I'm good at that stuff. Yeah, I, it's okay. Take a breath. We're gonna breathe in, breathe out. All right. He's gonna make the breathing exercises. <laughs> Yeah, all right, all right. It's gonna be okay. You see, we are a pretty good group, I think. I don't know. Uh, a few of them seem to be a little um slow, but but we'll be okay. For 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 being the 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 planny type brain people, you're the most like level headed of all of us. I think. I don't know how that happened, but apparently so. I'm not usually super level headed. I'm usually taller than everybody else, so that <laughs> he's just gonna like uh, yep. it is in the clouds a lot. But uh, it's going to be okay. We're going to figure out a way to take care of this problem. 
be taken care of, and um, I'm not going to let you blow up. If I, if it comes to it, I'll remove your hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, would Sorry, you rather Sherry. have a missing hand or be blown up? If I were you, I'd pick the missing hand. You know, there's a lot of augmented uh, parts that you can get now, so it won't be that bad. I, I'd I'd rather us not do either of those options, but I agree, I agree. But you know, things happen. I'm just trying to make sure that you're aware of the possibility that it could happen because I would much rather have you be alive than dead. If in my person, why would you tell me this? <laughs> because you need to be aware of the situation. Stop helping. <laughs> Am I not helping very well? He's like more nervous now than like he was because <laughs> now he's considering the alternative possibilities. Okay, well, here's the thing. If thing, that is worst case scenario, that is like if everything goes horribly wrong, all right? It's likely not going to go horribly wrong. We're going to do great. We'll be able to infiltrate and everything will be fine. I'm sure everything is going to be okay. You just need to take a breath and stop hyping yourself up on caffeine. That's what can trigger an anxiety attack, and we don't want that today. I don't have anxiety. You have anxiety. I think you have anxiety, and you need to take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. You uh, should he's probably see a doctor about that. He's going to point at the shotgun and say, like, I, I don't know if they're going to let you take that in a bank. It's okay. I'm going to hide it. I'm like... I believe you. I'm going to hide it. It won't be an issue. And if anyone starts to try to get help, I'll, I'll just make sure that they can't get help. It's simple as that. Just take them out before they can cause problems. That's what I'm good at. And you're my buddy, so I'm not going to let anyone cause problems for you, alright? Well, I, I sure appreciate that. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, Stop taking all that caffeine. You need to get some serious sleep. I recommend go getting a hot shower. I believe there's a hotel down the way. And, uh... If I leave this place, I'm going to blow up. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Here, uh, there's some boxes over there. What Can I notice this now? anxiety attack in the corner? <laughs> Why don't you go, uh... Go lay down for a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go squat behind a box and just, like, like rock back and forth. No, no you need to lay down. Or just breathe, alright? Just breathe. Hello. 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 Scar, Hello. Scar, Hello. Scar, leave the man yeah. alone. Let's get some shut-eye. Let's go to bed. We got work in a few hours. Fine. He's gonna go to bed. Alright. Oh. I'd say you guys get a little bit of sleep, and about 30 minutes before 7 a.m., you hear a horn blare outside. Uh, uh, why? Oh, I it's the car. I will right. it. Time to work, oh. boys. Let's go. Uh, usually I don't have think we, lift. I don't feel like uh, Jax would have slept very much, so when they wake up, he's, like, standing over, like, where the cots are. <laughs> Like, not menacingly or anything like that. Be like, mania. I, I grab the rest of the caffeine sticks and I shove them in his mouth. Let's go, Jax. I'm about to say, like, you, you talk in your sleep. <laughs> I know I talk in my That's sleep. Let's get going. All right. So, you guys basically make your way up there. And correct me if I'm wrong in this situation at the moment. Um, you've gotten Phil's aid. Um, mm -hmm. as far as I'm aware of, Freddy has made no calls to his contacts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just make sure I was clear on that one. Um, so, Warren, you get a message from Freddy. It, it's probably about four hours after you had left his place, but roughly it's been about two or three hours since the message has arrived while you were sleeping. Uh, his device was installed. Not sure what you got access to. It was an electric, uh, electrical maintenance computer, so you might at best have access to the electrical grid. Okay, so Phil. Yeah, Phil message. Okay. Um, I check uh, what my computer 
uh, is in contact with. So, at the moment, you're out of range because basically your bug would have to be on a self-contained network. Right. Uh, but you're out of the range of your bug currently. But it is registering as online. Got it. Okay. I'm going to hand the piece of paper uh, to him and say, I don't know if this is going to help, but this is the this is this is the paper they gave me about the about the box information that I had access to. It might, and uh, I take it and I lick it and stamp it on the laptop. Right. <laughs> yep. So. Driver looks at you guys and goes, or you might be hungry. Toss each like a breakfast sandwich type thing. Let's Are go. you guys going to change? I uh, ask. I, like, I didn't I, think uh, about that. I have I'm the, gonna change, I was like, and he just starts to change right now. Like, I'm going to turn around like, oh my. <laughs> I'm like, what are you freaking out about? I'm like already naked, putting the maintenance <laughs> outfit on. I, I changed the before wall, we left. Happy In thoughts. all culture, this wall, is completely happy normal. Thoughts. So, you guys have changed attire, mm. gotten into your outfits and stuff like that for this in- endeavor. Um, I'm gonna see. If... Okay. So, you guys have about thirty minutes to like scarf down a breakfast sandwich, get changed. Load up. Driver looks at you guys and goes, Well, I am to be taking you to the bank. After I drop you off at the entrance, I am to leave. So, it's been a pleasure being of service. I hope that you will use our services again in the future. Thank you, sir, for your lovely driving. Thank you for breakfast, by the way. We were out of caffeine sticks because, well, someone might be a very big fan of them. (laughs) You're addicted. (laughs) I know I am. Thank you, Jax. So, he loads up, uh, holds open the door for you guys so you guys can all get in. Um, once you're in, he shuts the door, goes around, starts out the car, and gets it moving. Um, ride's relatively uneventful, like going through the checkpoints, getting up to the next tiers, um, taking up the main shafts, uh, through the upper echelons, so getting towards the banking district and stuff like that. It goes off without a hitch. There's no issues the whole way. Like, car gets scanned, no issue. Which is odd, considering there's a fully automatic shotgun that's modded to hell. So, that should not be happening, but it is. Um, beyond that, no when issues that going happens, up. Hold on, when that happens, and I notice that there, there's no issue with the shotgun, I immediately start going into the system trying to figure out why the fuck we didn't get at least right, give me a, give me a computer check uh, with advantage and we're like outside watching watching them walk in so like well no you're not at the bank yet you're not in the bank. transit to the bank so we're in transit and even carrying around the weapon has raised no eyeballs or any questions from anyone about anything right 17 well, you're in transit in the vehicle, but it goes through checkpoints and scans and stuff like right, that, and it has not right. figured any, right. anything. Because we're going to a higher so, level uh, on the city, right? Yeah. Okay. With the 17, um, you start looking through the subsystems in the car and the, the software aspect of the actual vehicle itself, and you start to realize there are blackout protocols, uh, similar to what you've seen on Special Forces dossiers and things of that nature, to basically jam signals, reverse scanners, Everything else like that, these scanners are registering absolutely nothing at the moment of this vehicle. Okay, so this vehicle's just stacked with to the nth degree. Got it. Okay, uh, I, I let a sigh of relief out, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm paranoid. So, calm down, Warren. Um, we were in good hands. It takes about Thirty-five minutes for you guys to traverse the layers and get to the, the actual banking district. Uh, the car pulls up in front of the bank itself, um, taking very art- architecturally from like ancient Greece and the Romans and stuff of that nature. So it's got these very like intricately carved and and 
shaped pillars that intertwine with each other and connect to the top. Um, very imposing. Uh, made to look like it's marble, but it's not. It's synthetic. Um, but very gaudy in a way. Um, especially considering where you guys all kind of hail from. But you guys it's arrive so without issue. Car comes to a stop. The window cracks to about a you know two thirds of the way up. Um, leaving a space to talk, and he goes, "We've arrived at our destination again. Thank you for choosing our services, and please, uh, if you find need of our services in the future, do call on us again. And best of luck." Okay, so now are we in front of the bank? Yeah, Scar. I okay. guess this is us, buddy. Up. All right, let's do this. And uh, I look to Warren, uh, or not Warren, to Fred, and I go, all right, we're going around the back. All right, lead on, let's go. All right, I'll exit the car. So for sequence of events, we'll start with the, the in-house team. Um, so Jax, Star, you guys approach the main front doors. There's a doorman that's standing there as well as Security guard, um, armed out and tactical nine gear. Or you would recognize this stuff uh, from your enforcer time frames and things like that. Some of the other gangs do have this type of tactical equipment they've stolen from military transports. Um, it can basically take short of an R basically just short of an RPG. So oh, they right. are armed and arm armored to the nines. Okay. Um, don't piss them off. Got it. Well, you're pretty sure your modified shotgun with its slugs could probably breach it. Still. All right. I mean, it might take two or three shots, but you'll get through. Okay. Um, all right. Just keep a keep a low profile. Everything's going great. We're doing great. So I have to ask at this moment, how are you concealing the shotgun? He has it in, um, so there's actually a compartment in his arm that he has actually kind of put it into. So his arm is like placed like this and he can't move it as long as the gun is there. So a little awkward looking, but. A little awkward, but I'm, I'm trying. Nobody acts, just so, no one acts suspicious, all right? It's going to be fine. And in stereotypical fashion, my guards apparently are fucking useless. Uh, so that was a one and a two, respectively, Don't on his roll with advantage. Don't be suspicious. So, in the most suspicious way possible, you've walked through in the garden and this is nothing. <laughs> and, uh, you guys make it into the main uh, lobby, essentially, as it were. There are several, like, really nice couches, some plant growths and stuff like that set up with planters. Um, at this point, uh, you see one of the banker or bankers come over to you and... Uh, Hi, can we help you? Absolutely. I need access to safety box 773113. Thank you. You see him pull up his data pad, types in the numbers. Right, right this way. Um, I do have to ask, obviously, for the passcode. Do you think I'm a, I'm a crazy person to just say that in the lobby of a bank? Let's go into a more private setting, please. He just turns the slate around and hands and it to enter, you and the keyboard up. I'll enter it. Thank you. God, right this way, sir. everything myself these days. Right this way, sir. Um, would, is your security accompanying you, or? Of course. Very well, sir. I'll and go everywhere with him. As you type it in, what comes up on the screen is a picture of you, listed as your first name, but with the last name of the family. So the identity he's given you for this is literally a family member of theirs with your name. Awesome. So you're given kind of like VIP treatment for that in that you're directed directly to the vault, no issues, no security checks, taken right to it. Um, they open the main vault door uh, with the manager and this teller's codes. And once it's open, the security deposit box immediately pops itself loose from the wall, hovers over and plants itself down on the, to the table in the center of the room. Um, room's very nice. Uh, two very large steel walls, uh, basically with cutouts in them where the safety deposit boxes are set. Um, looks like there's biometrics on the boxes themselves, 
as well as security cameras in the room, um, mo catching multiple different angles. And generally speaking, it, it is a proverbial fortnight. Okay, I'm gonna. <clears throat> hey, Scar, here. Hey, what? C come here. Stand. Are we alone? Is the banker there? He's right outside the door at the moment. What's up? What would you need? Just stand right here, and I'm gonna okay. position so that that Scar is kind of blocking one of the cameras from the contents of the case. All right, I'll just stand okay. here. <sighs> so. Did you mean to punch something? Not yet. Okay. Do you open the case? Uh, I attempt to do the biometric, yeah. Okay, so you it's open the case the up, world. and inside of it is a can of spray paint, your favorite brand, with a note that says, go ahead, kid, leave your mark. I love this so much, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, as this is transpiring and you're conversing with security and getting into this room, um, Warren and Freddie, you guys have made your way to the back entrance uh, to the maintenance area. There is a guard in the, in the alleyway, uh, up armored and ready to go, as far as he's concerned. So, uh, as we get into the uh, to the camera angle, I'm like, and and you know, I was listening to the audiobook last night, and there, there's a lot there actually. And yeah, I'm no, like, it's, it's it's a good read. It, it gives you a lot, honestly. And I'm I'm glad you, I'm glad at least Scar's gotten you at least in some way of processing this shit. Like, as much as I hate the fucker. And oh I no, no, him. no! God, that's such a you know that's such a. There's a reason Lance hired him as a bouncer. Yeah. So no, dumb and dense, true. you can't actually get violent and people into that I, building. As I'm walking towards the guard, I just kind of flash my uh, badge, and I'm like, I, I'm hoping we can you know get. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Uh, apologies, I got no maintenance scheduled for today. Well, I would Impromptu? be here if there wasn't. Yeah. I mean, you see him, like, roll his wrist over and look at the pad on his underside of his arm. He scrolls through, like, the listing. He says, I've got one delivery from the family itself, and that's it listed for today. Ho hold on one second. Uh, and I I pull up uh, my, um, my deck, um, and... I start. I look like I'm pulling up my list of like things to do. Uh, I put in a work order, uh, like right where he's looking, mm -hmm. so he looks like a fucking idiot. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, Are... it's right there. He's like, what did you talk? Uh, my apologies. It's okay. I... It's okay. It's we've all have it. It's a, it's early in the morning. You know what? It's... That that that's you know what? Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. I talked to you. No, I'm sorry. I talked to you like that. No. I have I have some serious issues I'm working on, man. It's, and you guys, know what? it's not cool. Everyone, it's, it's eight. It? It's eight in the morning, boys. We're fine. He's swiping yeah, his, his key card at the door and opening I, it. Yeah, it's, uh, again, sorry, fellas. I read his you name. Know, I, worry, I, I read his name tags. Like Jeff, thank you for your time. Sorry for sorry for the my my partner. He's, He's a hard worker, but he's not good for the morning. If you catch my drift, so thank you for Grab your a time. Cup of coffee. So. Looks like you had a long night. Uh, do you know where that is in this building? It, it's uh, the break room's down that hall to the left. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm okay. proceed. And he, he shuts the door, thinking he's done done his job, but you know, mm -hmm. hasn't been too much of a dick. I'm gonna go in that room, go to the fridge, just steal someone's yogurt, and just keep eating as we go. <laughs> <laughs> So just eating other people's lunches. <laughs> oh <laughs> man! <laughs> what a fucking dude. The, we've that discovered guy. the real crime here. Right? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. It's labeled and everything with Patrice across it. Unforgivable. <laughs> Unforgivable. Oh, it was too. <laughs> no. Poor Patrice is like I was looking forward to that all day, and then goes to the break room and it's gone. Yeah, yeah Patrice is going to be the reason it, that we like... we can't do our our mission. I hope you know that. <laughs> so uh, I take him to the uh, to the elevator, um, and while uh, we're walking there, I start, I start getting into the system, um, okay. looking so over what I have. The electrical system that, that you've accessed with the bug has granted you the ability to, to minorly affect the system overall. Um, you can shut down power to certain devices and stuff that are on the on the grid. Um, beyond that, you do have access to some minor interpersonal like emailing systems from the computer itself um but it doesn't seem to have access to anything security related or 
like major informational sets for like clients mm-hmm. at the moment. So, um, but it is pinging its location on the first floor or first sub basement. Got it. Um, so we head into the sub basements with the elevator, and I look at him and I go, "Okay, so." Odds are you probably won't be able to follow me through all of these. Like, like physically, I can't like walk. I can't. Fi- is like fi- physically, yes, because I have this, and I point to my hand. I can basically make myself anybody I want, as far as you know, biometrics are concerned. So, do you want me to just go hang out in the break room until you're done? Or no, I want you to keep. I want you to keep an eye out and keep me posted. Okay, it's okay. A, I slapped the yogurt out of my hand. <laughs> We're working. That was entirely uncalled for. Or Someone's Patrice stealing someone's yogurt. A, it's part of the visage. Calm and relaxed brings no curiosities from those that are wandering. So, at this point, the elevator comes to a stop at the basement of three. The doors open up, and before you, you see a bulletproof glass box with a security guard standing in it. Um, She's a few security doors with biometric scanners on them. Mm -hmm. Um, And several cameras registering each hallway directional. Got it. Um, I uh, approach the, the, like, glass around the area. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I look like I'm inspecting it and I am, but for fingerprints, the, the garden side look, kind of looks at you as you're like looking over the glass and stuff like that. You see him hit a button inside. And, Can I help you? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I'm wondering where the break room is. <laughs> break rooms on the first floor. No, no, I've been um, to that one. I've been to that one. I, I'm trying to remember where I left my lunch here a few weeks ago. Uh, what was your name, by the way, sir? Does he have a name tag? No, he doesn't. I don't think you're going to want it after a few weeks. Yeah. It's potatoes. It was fine. Uh, sir, <laughs> the, the bag was a gift. has a, a three-day throwout. So if you left it in the fridge and it's been more than three days, it's probably been thrown out. Well, the food would be bad, of course, but like that was... Oh, God, my wife's going to kill me. She gifted me that bag for my birthday, and I... Unfortunately, work has not brought me back here in a week, so I... Okay. Well, that's very unfortunate. He hits the button and goes, Well, sir, uh, maybe you should take better care of your stuff. Um, sounds like your wife's a nice woman who got you something pleasant as a present, and you just kind of left it to get fucked. <laughs> he just goes button I with just look at him like, like... He's sounding a lot like her right now, sir. <laughs> he looks over back at you and looks looking at the glass again. He goes, um, what, what are you doing? Inspection. And uh, have you I collected this past week? Uh, and have I collected any fingerprints? Um, let's give it a check. Uh, you were f- able to find a few partials, but nothing complete. Thank you, Um, and I look at her and I go, "Listen, I don't decide when inspections should occur. I, man, I, I'm just doing my job." I start trying to imitate what he's doing the other side of the elevator. It's like, yeah, we're just working here. Like, Give me I need to inspect the rest of the um, checkpoints, too. I will say, give me a deception check with advantage since Aaron has aided you in this farce. I was trying to distract him with that conversation about the lunchbox. Uh, that's a fucking 18. That's on the ground. So... With that, I would say, like, you guys are able to pull up deceptions. Like, look, I get it. Um, he looks through the system and goes, apparently there is some kind of maintenance schedule for today. Um, wasn't there this morning, but this is what it is, I guess. Um, if you have clearance, you should be able to buzz yourself through. Uh, maintenance guys usually have, like, uh, override access of some sort or something, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, just give me a second. Um, I'm still doing my... Uh, check on this post. Right. Don't, don't don't rush me. He, he kind of looks at you, like I'm assuming your hand like you're using it to scan. Yeah. So as you're doing that stuff, he's like he kind of thinks through and he goes, 
Wait, should I not be in here while you're doing this? Like, this you're isn't like an x-ray or something, right? Actually, yeah, you really shouldn't... Oh. Actually, oh, shit. now you have you, cancer. You, you, might, you might actually want to go to the doctor. I, did, did they not tell you? No, they didn't tell me that. Like, he immediately, like, starts wiping his badge, getting out of the booth, like... Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Don't, don't walk near anyone. Go out the back way. You don't want anyone else. And when he's out of the range, oh, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like, gets in the elevator. And he's, like, looking at the buttons for a second, like, trying to figure out how to do this. And he kind of pulls out his baton, extends it, and then hits the button for, like, the ground floor. <laughs> um, um, I will say, if you want to, either one of you want to try to make a sleight of hand check or something to, like, lift his key card, you may attempt so. Yes. Absolutely. 13. Okay, so you lift the key card, um, Warren. They, they both go for it and start two, holding hands. Uh, <laughs> replacing it with basically a uh, frozen yogurt bars membership card. <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately afterwards, <laughs> Freddy, you lift what was you thought was the card, and then as you palm it and try to look at it afterwards as the guys start to leave, you see a frozen yogurt card. I... Sure. <laughs> it's good yogurt. I haven't I haven't I tried it yet. I I I, I, look, I haven't tried and it I yet. I just go but through I mean, the door. Like I'll try them out later. I guess you know maybe I'll get a free one. So it's at this point um, that roughly you guys in the in the vault at the moment would be opening up the box, seeing the spray paint, uh, and the note. Go ahead and leave your mark, kid. Um, but it's. Also, at this point, that the light on the watch that he gave you switches from red to green. Oh, uh, what does that mean? In your internal display, you start seeing credit lines showing up and transferring into your neural net. Transferring into your neural net. Multiple accounts all across the safety deposit boxes are starting to be transferred wirelessly. That's not what we you, know. you love to see it. Uh, Scar? I'm sorry, what? Scar, we're gonna need to make a little bit more space. If you could just stand in the in the doorway, please. Uh, yep, yeah, you got it. Is everything Thank okay? You. Absolutely. Are you sure? You seem very happy. I am. You're good, I'm glad to see you smile. And I'm gonna point at the green light. Eh? Uh, what? I don't know what that means, but I'm happy Neither that you're happy. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> so, a couple Does minutes go mean by. It's gonna go off. And you cut off your hand right now, and it wouldn't be a problem. Scar, you get a message that comes through to your phone. Oh! What's on my phone? What did it say? Push the red button on the side of the gun. Alright! So you pull it out and you hit the red button. Um, there's a, a fizzling cracking sound as an EMP pulse detonates from the weaponry. A what? EMP. Oh, oh okay. No. So your two mechanical arms go limp. Oh. Your stabilizers retract into their standby state. And the security cameras drop loose. Okay. I'm going to take the can of spray paint and start spraying the cameras. All right. So you, you've sprayed the cameras and everything else like that. Um, it's at this point, I do have to ask, um, as a parkour runner in the city and stuff like that, each of you have your own marking, um, usually in the form of a sticker that's placed on um, whatever package you're delivering or, or hard drive or whatever the case may be. Um, what is the sticker that is Jax? So it's a big, like, anarchy, like A, and then it's it just says eat the rich underneath. Okay. So it's at this point... You start putting that on the on the safety deposit walls on each side. Oh yeah. Okay. You get a message that pops up in your display as you're finishing up the the last bit of the iconography on the walls. It says time to go, kid. Get Scar and get out. All right, Scar, let's go. And then oh, like, uh, oh, are wait. are we done already? We're oh, done already. Let's go. All right, let's go. So as you guys exit the 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 vault and everything like that, the guy and the bank manager are talking we don't know what's going on 
Uh, some of the systems seem to be fried out. Something went off, I guess. I don't know. Uh, he looks up, sees you guys leaving, goes, uh, we'll make sure your security deposit box is returned to its proper place, sir. Um, you have a wonderful day. Hope there's Th no further issues. Thumbs up. I'm just going to toss the rattle can in a trash can. Uh -huh. Kind of catches him off guard for a second, but he's too busy to like investigate that further at the moment. It's as, fine. Don't worry about it. As Scar and you make your way outside, there is the same car that drove off earlier, parked out front with a guy in front of it. It looks exactly like Disco, Blake, Lance, whatever the case may be, with the driver. Hi. How's it going? Really great, kids. Uh, go ahead and hop in. Let's get out of here. I'm 37. Who are you? I'm 197. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but what about... Our friends? we got a group that's still inside. We have another name for that. It's called the Fall Guys. Let's go. Is is the is the is the <laughs> did the thing like fall off or, or is it beeping or is it is it green still or is it's it still dead green from at the, the moment? MP? It's still green at the moment. I don't know. One of them is really trying to improve himself. <laughs> well, that's a cry and shame. Let's go. <laughs> He's like just standing in front of the scene of a crime. Let's go, guys. Go. <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna be hesitant. Like I, I'm obviously hesitating, like on what the right call is. I think the right call is that we go call our friends. Uh, I'm going to. Is my phone still working, or is it not at destroyed? the moment? Oh, so I'm just gonna shout at them. Shouting at the pig. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Cisco Warren <laughs> and Frank Fernand. Guys, come on! For Fernando. So, he's like, okay, look. Scar, you do what you do, okay? Have fun. Great. Awesome. All right. Jax, let's get the fuck out of here. I'll have fun. Bye. You have the money. Scar, if you grab him and we go rescue our friends, he's not going to blow up the bomb and endanger his own life. Grab him. <laughs> grab him. <laughs> <laughs> go we're gonna um, we're gonna like uh, i'm gonna start leading him toward the back where they where i watched them run around the back of the bank Gordon, you're really so cut back over to downstairs crew at the moment um you guys are, are in there having your little discussion at this moment in front of the security booth that's now empty security guard is left uh you have the key card to swipe uh what exactly are you guys doing I, I'm going to swipe it through, and I'm going to be like, all right, so we can get through as many of these as we can. The second that we do, we'll contact Jack, and then we'll tell him to start pulling out the money. Easy enough. I'll get the, I'll get, I'll get them on, I'll get the call prepared to make. Yeah, let's go. Lead on. So, and I start uh, scampering about to get the rest of the checkpoints done. All right, so you guys start booking through it, and you get to, I'd say probably through the first two. Uh, for there's a weird flickering of the lights, and from your bug upstairs, it goes offline. Warren, my bug goes offline, or I just lo I just lost connection to the whole system. Doesn't sound like that was part of the plan. N no, that was <laughs> something fucking with the electrical. I. I don't have an answer I look, for I, that. I look at my phone. Is my phone just off? Well, no. You guys are deep enough that it wouldn't matter. Okay. Okay. Like, well, like, can we keep going? Like, is 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 the key yeah, card still working? We, uh, we fucking can't stop now. <laughs> um, and uh, I get us to the next checkpoint. All right. Uh, get get Jack on the uh, Jack's on the phone. Calling. Caller, you are trying to reach. It's not available at the time. Please call back later. He's not available. Like whatever that what electrical the thing. Fuck! Do you mean he's not available? I mean, the bitch is telling me that the phone line is unavailable. <laughs> Either he changed plans, or that electrical <laughs> thing just fried his phone, or whatever. Fuck. Um, I uh, try and net into the intercom system. 
Okay. Uh, well, you, you've lost your wireless. You'd have to hardline. So you need to get to that maintenance room. I, um, yeah, that's where I was going anyway. Yeah. So you're booking in, and you get past the passive immediately. Um, and, and this is basically a hacker godsend. You are in the in the maintenance room at this point in time, but it has literally a centralized maintenance server backup that connects to every system. This is so fucking stupid! Why would they build it this way? <laughs> I mean, to be that fair, you your did buddy, go through dude. <laughs> three biometric scanners, a passive scanner, and all that security. <laughs> and uh, I, I Death hack... Star level exploitation here. Yeah, I, I, I start hacking into it, and I'm like, they could have done several separate subservers. Uh, eighteen. All right, so you, you get into the system, and the second you do, EMP warning, EMP warning, EMP warning, EMP what warning. What the fuck? It is What's going on? Off warnings from dozens of systems on the uh, sub basement one, main floor, vault floor, and sub uh, or upper level two. There was a huge EMP on the first floor, it looks like centralized, and it kind of uh, cascaded around. Oh, fuck. That... What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. That means exactly that. So there's a way too many things that could come from that. Hold on. And I, uh, I intercom, uh, I get into the intercom system. You, as you start push, pushing out of the main, just login access from where you got in, mm -hmm. um, into the other subsystems. Um, it, it starts to, you see, like, gateways and, and pass, pass through the system that you could take are starting to close. And you catch a bit of a security call going out. Not to the police station, to a private number. I grabbed that. Okay, go ahead and give me a contested draw. Okay, dog. Seven of spades. Ten of hearts, bitch! Alright, so... You have that on top of accent. You have countered the hack essentially um, that's going in from external sources. It looks like someone who has figured out a way to tunnel into the system and is setting off alarms left, right, and center. Uh, they're continually spamming out uh, the emergency contact line, which is in the event of an emergency alarm goes off, something like that, a number is called. It is not the police station, it's not the cops, it's not anything like that. It is calling a private number. Um, so as you're, you're high enough that I would say as you're like blocking this blocking list, you do a backtrace on the search of the phone number, and it leads to an LLC, to a shell company, to back to the Mercutio family, or whatever it is I called it originally, uh, back to that family. Uh, this is their effectively their QRF. Fuck! And it still keeps trying to reach out unsuccessfully. Um, uh, they're going to know we're here in about uh, five minutes. Can we get everything that we need done in, in the next five minutes? Or do we need to get the fuck out of here? If we can get to Jace or Jack's fuck. I'm going to redial. I've been, I've been redialing his phone number. Am I still getting just like nothing? Still dead signal. It's like, well, it's still not working. So... You know what? what Fuck do you think? this. Um, I I pull out um, like one of my blank credit shits, uh, and I'm like, we're just gonna take everything we fucking can, and I <laughs> plug it in there, and I just hold down <laughs> the deposit the button. Deposit, yeah. <laughs> okay, so give me another draw. Let's see. Okey doke. We're robbing the whole hard. bank. A whole fucking bank. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. All right, I got a six of hearts on mine. Everything. Yo, oh shit! Ace, oh, yes. ace on the draw. Really it's high. Yeah. It's okay. highest. It's highest In the card. Process of the hack. You, you start it's to figure out. twenty in deck form. Got it. Yes. Pretty much that and the Joker. Got it. Um. So you start hacking away at the system, hacking away at the system, and you get this brilliant idea. You start backtracing the hacker himself and start using his sign, like his signature in, in electronic format, on everything you're doing. As you start taking all of the funding and dumping it onto this one cred shit. And now um, I have a huge ego complex. <laughs> Great. <laughs>
Yeah. He's like, I need, I need to make room. Dump the audiobook for the self help thing. <laughs> <laughs> on the on this one crate no, trip. No, so you, much progress. You deposit ninety seven billion credits as you empty every account in this bank. I'm watching you become I, uh, more manic at his computer. like, what's going on, <laughs> Warren? I, I, put, I put it in my pocket. I'm like, we are now going to be really rich, buddy. We just need to get out of here <laughs> and then find the others. Because you know what? They they deserve something. And um, I look at my phone and I got the text from my taxi driver. Like he's 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 basically like by the bank. He's within a block. And uh, I was like, I, my guy's here. I, we like, can go running. A, I start then I start running and I'm like, let's go. You guys start processing your way back out. Uh, cut away to the outside crew at the moment. Who's currently has uh, a kidnapping. Cisco, Lance, Blake, whatever you want to call him. Uh, currently wrapped up in four arms. Yep. Looking like, a, you know, a swaddled baby by a giant orc. <laughs> um, being toted down an alleyway towards a security guard who looks very confused as you guys are approaching. She can't he, walk. Don't worry about it. He kind of, like, tucks his rifle up a little bit more, puts his hand. What the fuck are you doing? Not for you, not for you. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the guy. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, take it off, take it off. <laughs> the wristband, take it off. The guy just looks. at you goes, Jax. I like you. I wouldn't strap a bomb to you. But yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was a wireless receiver. The second you got in range of the security deposit vaults with the cred chips, it drained them. I significantly misunderstood the scenario, I say. <laughs> He's like, Jack, you've been, you've been working me for years running numbers for me. Like, why would I kill you? You're actually good at this. But, oh, I, look, nobody needs to get hurt in this situation. I, I apologize. You two do you, your job all the time perfectly without issue. That dude tried to steal my name, and the other one's a fuck up who's stepping on toes. <laughs> the door slings open. Woo! We're out. <laughs> the guard just gets. Don't know what's going. All right, so give me a strength check for whoever's going through that back door first. Uh, me. All right. That is a nine. Nine. Okay. So <laughs> unaware. Let's see. Nope. Um. Unaware that you're coming through that door, he's kind of got his back to it. And he's like, sees this very large person being holding another person and another kid coming this way or whatever the case may be. And he's just like, the fuck it's a pain! <laughs> oh. Or else. And down he goes. <laughs> As he's just been clocked in the back of the head with a steel door. Woo! We're out, boys! Let's go. My I'm right's here. Finishing the, I'm finishing the, I've severely misunderstood the situation. Pang. <laughs> like, I, I look at the two of them and I'm like, car, river, no time. <laughs> Let's go. I'm running with the guy. Like, what are you doing? They <laughs> see this. We have the guy. I finally yeah, look over behind and I see, I see Scar holding. Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> I, oh, I'm you know, running. checking in. Look, cho choices were made. <laughs> we got I'm it. I heard the word. Of... I heard it. We, we got billions out here, so we'd be great, I think. I'm yeah. on the other billions. side of Scar. I'm going to check my credit side. I'm There's on the other side of Scar, and I look at him and I go, look at me. I'm the Cisco now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Big Why? part of the plan, kid. What, what just happened? And I go, I made every one of us shut up in car. And I jump in the car. We're going to, yeah, we're going to load him into the car. Okay, so uh, you guys went from leaving in an armored town car with like black ops level fucking security and shit to escaping in a yellow taxi. With the guy. <laughs> with the, the, the boss of the operation. Jump in. Great. Rio, thanks for showing up. So you're all quite uncomfortably just smashed into the back of this back yellow of car. No, I'm, a, I'm, I'm in the front seat with Rio. I was like, oh, God. It's been a great day, Rio. I, Thanks for showing up. I look to I look to other Cisco, to fake Cisco. Yep. <laughs> um, and uh, I go, this is just for the job. And I give him a billion. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's the transfer go through and he's like, all right. 
And this is so you never fucking talk to me again. <laughs> I give him five billion. <laughs> Like, okay. Um, and this is because it's been nice knowing you. One billion. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right. And the rest of it I evenly distribute uh, for everybody else. I, I, I'm going to check my storage. <laughs> nice. Okay. So what your storage took um, oh wasn't my God. credits at all. What? It is literally every dirty secret, every blackmail piece of information that the entire family has on anyone and everyone in power. It's just dirty information. It's photos. all the dirty laundry oh. that they had stockpiled. I say we hang it. I'm gonna I'm gonna create a copy of it. I'm gonna ch I'm like for the job, and then I'm gonna transfer the information that was for the job to him. But I'm gonna keep a copy of it. He's like, all right, appreciate it. Um, there's one last part of this. Um, we're gonna have some plus ones. I'm not sure how the boss is gonna take that, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, he looks at the cab driver. You're gonna want to head towards the dock. Oh wait, he wasn't the guy that we were turning it into. No, you were supposed to meet with me at a location to turn it in. Yeah. Okay, so we effectively did that. Just the location wasn't of your desirable <laughs> choice. Yep. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty clear with all of you at this point, short of 100k to each of you, which is more than easily done now. <laughs> um, however, uh, the person hiring you was not me. Who the fuck hired it? <laughs> I, I don't care. I don't care. Well, you know what? You yeah, I don't care either. <laughs> he... Not one you want to mess with. Okay. Meanwhile, Frederick goes over there like, I've Kaiser to Soze the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> Handled. He has enough money to, so, like, just hire point, an army. The cab goes into emergency lockdown. Rio? Meaning, you guys are se separated from the front of the cab, and the doors and windows are locked and armored. Uh... He looks over at you, Freddy, and he's like, um, the fuck you get me into? As you realize, the car's driving still. But no, one, he's not the one driving it. Wait, you bought this You bought this from the local city government, didn't you? Yeah. I'm so disappointed. I told you I was legit. Yeah, legit, but you import your shit so the government can't lock... Fuck, all right. Uh, I'm not a criminal. I don't know these things. I just drive people from the airport. It's not. It's not a criminality thing, Rio. It's practicality. Last thing you need to know is you're you're too good at your job. You know that. That's your problem. We oh, found yeah, the I'm only honest cabbie. <laughs> the only honest cabbie in the entire fucking world. I'm gonna punch him in the face. So oh, we're in the back. Oh, never mind. Dent in the metal yeah, wall as you try to punch. Yeah, just <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. between the two. So it's at this point in time, you guys get to the docks, and um, I have to ask Aaron, what's little Tony's response when the car doors open and dumps everybody else out on the dock in front of him? Your work is always stupendous! <laughs> Fantastico! No! <laughs> and that's where we end it. What?! <laughs> Grilled cheese and side of justice. Go I watch it. I keep mentioning it. I'll watch it. I haven't had time. We're not even lecturing you, Lillian. We're lecturing the audience. Watch <laughs> season one. Watch grilled cheese with a side of justice. It will add all, right. all of the seasoning to this. Thank you. Good night.